Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about what are the assets and what are the asset activities that are supported by UA Path uh, Studio and uh, let's try with some real time example. Okay, let me get started. I myself Karthik, I usually upload videos on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you are new here, consider subscribing it. Okay, so uh, what are the assets? Asset is nothing but a way of sending uh, data from orchestrator to the UA Path Studio. Uh, okay, it's a small chunk of data like user ID. Usually, it will be a credential kind of thing where uh, you don't want to put them in a workflow, and you will get those from the um, you will get those from the uh, uh, orchestrator. There is something called uh, asset will be there. This is actually a new version two point two zero one eight versions only. You will get this asset and uh, uh, let's say there is some actually this is very useful when 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 a tester is uh, testing a uh, workflows okay so he is displaying some information some message box is displaying so tester wants to change it okay so instead of changing it from your path studio where a developer usually won't give access to that so he can developer can create an asset and uh, assets and he can access those kind of things okay so he can uh, tester can modify and he can change he can see those changes as part of the workflow execution okay so uh, the main purpose of asset assets here is to is to exchange the piece of data between orchestrator and ui path studio once you get the data from orchestrator to ui path studio you can use it and you can change the values as well okay so we'll see that so there were actually two kinds of uh, asset operations are there if you click on it here assets you can see there are four operations one is related to uh, credentials that is a secured one other one is related to the normal one okay so you have four here if i categorize into two the one is related to the non-secure text and one is related to secure data so let me create something like asset so we have four assets now so let's try implementing that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete all the activities here as part of that are there here so i have uh, okay let me delete few things if not everything Uh, as a one thing I I going to explain here is like you need to change few robot settings when you are uh, setting the values to the asset okay so first of all uh, I hope you know how to connect uh, to the your orchestrator to the to your uh, arc sorry from your uipa studio to orchestrator if you don't know uh, there's another video another tutorial I have prepared please go to it and try to achieve that once you can able to achieve that only we can able to uh, we can able to implement this this properly so let me try to publish this one this is already there you can see here yeah, this is published successfully okay just to show whether it is i could able to publish or not so i could able to publish successfully so in this orchestrator not you can see it is 2018 version so what i am going to do is go to the asset and click on this here and give some name here something like let me give as um, something like tutorial tutor, tutor okay and here you have different kind of things text boolean integer credentials if you give credentials then that will be like a secured one if you click on credential then you have to give user and password that we'll see later as part of the video as of now let me give text one here okay so um here i what i am going to do here just display some message here so what i am going to display is if you like this video consider subscribing to my channel consider subscribe to my channel okay this is a this is the one i have created here what is that that is a tutor asset okay now if you go here you can get this one get this activity asset and you have to give the asset name make sure that you are giving the same name this is the asset name tutor is my asset name 
so i have to make sure that i am giving the same name here okay that should be in double quotes tutor okay tutor and the value is let me keep it as data i think it is already existing okay so no problem let me give something like data one okay so just go here and see what is the type created data type created is generic because you don't know exactly what kind of data is coming no problem but i just want to show that is some same kind of variable is getting created for uh, even if you do here even if you if you get it from asset there is no difference same kind of variable is getting created okay that is really important to identify so i am going to display that here just for tutorial purpose for your purpose for in your case as per the business scenario you can change it okay so data one two string since it is a generic type i am converting to two string okay so uh, let me run this first of all now here i have given is if you like this video consider subscribing so i should get that so this is the first one and the second one is you can see that if you like this video consider subscribing this is the uh, this is a so here what happened is like this ui part um, this uh, studio is connected to the orchestrator using ui bot ui robot.exe then it went to that particular asset and it changed the value so it got the value okay so let me try publishing this one and see how we can get uh, how we can implement it from there so publishing is completed since i already have that process i'm just updating the process here if you haven't then you need to create a process here from the plus sign symbol okay so uh, i go to this process now I, I could see that this is the one which I am going to use. This is the latest one. Okay. Once that is updated here. It's been updated here. Right. So click on cancel. Then go to the jobs. And click on here. Start a job. So I am clicking on asset. And now I got this one then go here click on the start okay zoom size is increased it seems okay now you can see this is started hello world now i got the data from that asset okay consider subscribing so here what is happening is um, so what I, what is happening here is So here what is happening is from orchestrator I am getting the value to the UI part studio. Okay. This is get asset. Now there is another option called set asset. So what is with that what is going to happen is like I am going to set the value. Set. Um, set value. Set asset. Yes. It's this one. So you need to give the asset name here. Asset name is this one. Here I have given two tab, right? So the same asset name I am going to give here. Two tab. And the value is like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. Then uh, again, I need to use this get asset just to display here okay so again i'm using it, this one okay so one thing here you need to make sure is by default your robot will not have access to change the permissions so you need to go to the users here once you go here users click on the roles you have this robot right here you just need to edit the value so here i have changed this one previously it is only for view now you need to change it to edit create and delete options okay once you can able to do that only you can able to get this kick set asset value successfully edited okay so let me try changing it since i have already changed it this is a default value right so what i'll do is i'll just keep it to upgrade here so if i run this this activity will get failed let me show that as well hello world and uh, it's waiting for some timeout then it will show this exception thus this is the exception you will get 
because your robot will not have a particular role to change that value so what i'm going to do here is then i said go here edit create delete give the permissions to the bot here okay so once that is done what i'm going to do is again i'm going to execute this one now now if you if you see this one the value should change now you can see the value has changed this is how you need to do this asset okay so uh, we will see how to do the credentials then one of the most important use of this asset is like even if you set this asset here you can use uh, you can use you can create other project and you can use those values this asset values in the other project so the one of the main use case of asset is like globally changing the value you can globally assign some values to the your uh, your bots okay that is the one advantage display this is a tutor i have created here now i have used it for this project which is nothing but asset project I again i can create other project i also i can use the same asset here that is a major use case of asset okay that means you can globally assign the values to the different boards here okay and another thing if you observe here is like here value per robot this is again another important thing here i think this is this disabled for community edition it seems but you can change the you can assign a particular value to the each and every robot okay that also you can try it and another one we can see here is now we we got used to get asset and set as asset right now let's go and do some password related thing here which is very important by the way so what i do is pw and here go to credentials give username something like name and value will be like uh, value will be like bethi okay some name i'm just giving here okay you can see the value here something like that we got it right okay i have created this one pw now what i'll do is i'll delete this these are asset things and i'll go into use the credential related thing okay so here get credential click on it here and there you need to mention your asset name pw is my asset i have mentioned and there this is very important share you have you have username and password so i'll give something like username as us1 and password also us1 pw1 i'll give something like pw Okay, so I got the credentials here. Now let me try printing that message box. S one dot two string. So let me execute this one. Hello world, and username is name I should get here. Username is name I should get. so it's interacting with the orchestrator with sim so let's wait for that it's taking some time okay where is this s1 came into picture here i have to give us1 right so one second i think i have to give us1 here make sure you have pw s1 okay so those variables might have get created here so let me run this now and see this is the first one this is simple only now uh, now you can see pw is my orchestrator is here this is sorry pw is my credential related asset name and the username is name that i could able to get here so if you try printing the password actually this will come as a secure test because the password is always a secure one right so p 
3w1.toString toString the secured string it will print okay now another important thing is set credentials set credentials so here in the bot we have get the data from the orchestrator we are using it so you might have the requirement like that password might have expired so you want to change that password dynamically from here so maybe for every 10 days that password will get expired so instead of going there every 10 days and change it let's try doing from here and see how it works okay even i didn't explore this option let's see how it works so i have us one right so i'll be using that one here so for the password what i'll do is us one uh, something like subscribe so i hope it should set properly again uh, copy it and paste here just for our reference so let me try executing it hello world now uh, and the one more thing i am using the set credential here that means you need to have the proper um, what i am saying here is you need to have a proper robot roles for that robot roles you have to change it as well okay so if you click on it here the values will not get affected because i am not deployed the bot here i hope it should not get affected okay i can't able to see here but that could have worked properly so what i'll do is i'll try to change the username for the credential for as of now uh, i'll just try to deploy this bot and see if we can able to do if you can able to observe some changes to the password or not i have deployed it now i'm using the latest code here So that also completed what happened why it's here red mark let's see what the big deal yeah now it is in a cut to bottom only so go to the jobs try to use that same job here select the process set there and I should be getting that here busy mm -hmm. so I have successfully here given and uh, it's in a pending status so maybe this one is faulted I need to close few jobs I think so so something else might be in executing because of that only this is status is in pending state okay so I'll do this. I'll stop this process. And this might have completed, right? Then this might have completed. So it's in pending status. That means some process has been executing. It, it is it is it will wait for the process to close but i am not sure which one is executing okay so here you can see connection last now with the connection established now it created this hello world here you can see now the connection established previously connection was last for a few seconds maybe because of the network issue now you can see this came so what i am doing is let me go to the particular asset and try checking the value what is the value there can be able to check like that no can't able to check okay no problem what i'll do is instead of that username name what i'll do is i'll try to change it to name one like that okay so here set credentials since this is the value us1 i'll try to change it to username name one okay Uh, here what we can do here is since we got the password here this is a secure test 
um, SQL test we have uh, actually I, as of now I'm displaying because of that I'm getting that one but whenever you are uh, logging into some website try changing this password dynamically and see how it's working and let me know if it is working properly or not okay in this tutorial I could not able to show that here in username one I have changed so ideally username one should get changed okay so I'm displaying the password here sorry for that uh, no problem we'll I'll try to show that as well to you okay so here uh, let me change it to user one okay. so what I'll do is I'll publish this bot here my intention is to you can see this one right username is name right so my intention is to change that username to something else okay I have did the changes in the code I changed that username to username one so I am deploying that code here okay this is the latest code so I am using that here so once I use that still it's showing the same symbol it i think it's taking some time okay now used okay used has been changed to yeah now here this one also is getting changed now go to the jobs click on start give that process name now start that you can schedule as well but uh, i don't want to schedule it now now you can see command has been sent now it start its status is in running status so what we have learned previously is like if the connection has lost then it is went to the pending state since it is running state now so let's wait how it is how it's coming okay so it might have started running now yes now uh, now now the same one now you can see it changed it to username one now if you go here and you can see this one username has changed it to username one here okay this is what i'm trying to say so for this just to summarize what we have done for set credential and get credential get credential get credential also we achieved and set credential also we achieved okay so for set asset and set credential you need to have uh, you need to change the robot permissions there as i showed in the video so one of the major use case of asset is like uh, wherever that i have used this asset use it as part of my uh, UI path in in multiple projects multiple projects I can just use it so it will be like a global value and I can use it at multiple locations and if needed I can change it from the uh, UI path studio okay please try this at your home and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section so that I can help you on it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe for more videos